Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, there was uh, some, well, should we call it frustrations? Uh, I think that's fair. <laughs> I definitely think that's fair. So, uh, yeah, we were fighting this big winged beast boss, and uh, I've actually fought this guy quite a lot now, and got really frustrated with it. However, I found there's a little, a little sneaky little fuck with this boss. Um, it's broken. And not as broken as in I'm a whiny little gamer complaining that this boss is too hard. No, 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 no. It's actually a broken boss. Um, yeah, it has a health glitch that sometimes happens if you don't fight it in the right way. And that means its health will go into negative numbers in the game's code, which means it will then take a random, possibly lots of amount of shots before it will die which is why when i was uh, i got frustrated and i started watching youtube videos of this i actually found a a video from a guy who actually apparently so he says in his description went into the code of the game to understand what was going on also you have to take damage with this boss if you don't take damage um, that also triggers another glitch where the boss might not actually be killable. Yeah. Yeah. So you saw when I was pumping all those shots into it. Um, it was supposed to be dying, but it doesn't. Right, so what we gotta do. Skip that bullshit. Gotta shoot him. Right, we've gotta take damage. Have to take damage. Now, got to wait until he does that animation. Okay, when he does that animation, we can then select the rocket launcher, and we have to wait until the rocket launcher actually goes into auto aim mode. That means the boss is vulnerable. Now. <clears throat> According to the guide that I watched, you have to defeat him in a very specific way, which I cannot do because I don't have uh, many handgun bullets. But we're going to try. Right. See? see? You see that little action there? Right. That time we actually hit it. Okay. Try that again. Wait for it to come back. Yep, doing that weird little animation where it kind of recoils and then when the auto aim kicks in, you can hit it. Um, but this isn't an exact science. It's only an exact science. This is only an... Oh. Nope, we didn't do it. Still alive. Still alive. Let's come back. Pretty damn pissed off at us, that's for sure. Right, okay. Aim. Wait for the auto aim to kick in. Then hit him in the face. Got to rinse and repeat this. I genuinely thought this guy was invincible. I thought we must be doing something wrong. Uh, but no, no we're not. And like I say, you have to wait until he actually ducks over and you have to wait until the auto aim kicks in. If the auto aim doesn't kick in, you can't hurt him. Like that, see? Like that. Prime example of how it doesn't work. Right. Probably gonna wanna have to grabs. Oh, see? There we go. There we go. We actually did it. Okay, so I can't tell you guys how many attempts that that's actually taken me. Uh until I realized that there was some weird funk going on with it. Um <laughs> 
I thought I was being like fucking retarded or something. But no. Nope. Nope. It's just the game being broken. Which is whatever, I guess. Okay, anyway, so now that guy's dead, uh, we can move on and push in the final book. Which was here somewhere, question marks, on the third floor. Over the, yeah, so I think that's the last one. The last one. Okay, book is in position. Now, that unlocks something. Well, we know what that unlocks. That unlocks a key. So, uh, let's have a look. Now, this hidden doodad down here, uh, when I was researching why the fuck I couldn't kill that boss, I think it said the code 19. Right. Ninety-one, I think. Uh, maybe I got that wrong. I mean, obviously, I got that wrong. Um, how many? How many codes have we actually got here? Uh, this is just. Bit of old dog shit. Uh, so, how many? Nothing there. Uh, I hate this inventory system. It's really, really slow to actually um, scroll through. Really is. It's Kind of hard to explain. Like, if you're not playing it yourself, it is difficult. Um, so I saw it. Yes, yeah. Yes. Where is it? Where is my code? I want my code. Uh, I don't think it was in this one, was it? Nope. Looking for codes in red. Sure, that's the rub. I mean, we have eighteen eighty nine, right? Eighteen eighty nine. What else do we have? have a little? Eighteen seven. Right. Let's try eighteen eighty nine. Eighteen. 18. Nope. Let's try 1874. 18. Fuck's sake. And this, it takes so long. Like, it takes a good two seconds um, from pushing the button and hearing the, the failure noise. Before I actually kicks you back into the game. 1874. 18, 18, 18, I can't remember. Uh, maybe we haven't found that code yet, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe it's written down here somewhere. Uh, it is possible that we haven't found that one yet. <sighs> Which is fine, you know. But yeah, that boss is, is odd. And what's interesting... Well, I mean, I guess the guy doesn't specifically say. Um, what version of the game they were playing, but I guess that version is present on the Dreamcast version. Pretty sure the guy was playing like the PS1 version on the video I watched. Could have been the PS2 version, I guess. Okay. Uh, right. And I'm guessing there's nothing in here to find. Because if you remember, when we was playing as uh, Ellen, 
there was actually stuff down here. Be nice if there's like some shot. Yeah, see, there's something glowing. Be nice if there was like some shotgun shells or something. Ah. Well, I mean, this is glowing, but I think it's that. Yes, it's the same bug as it was before. Um, okay. Right, let's get out of here, I suppose. Uh, we have boss music. It's not really boss music, but we have we have bad nick music. So there is enemies around there somewhere. Okay, let's. Oh, that guy's just fucking doing donuts. You alright, buddy? Everything alright with you, mate? You good? Excellent. Alright, you keep dancing. You keep doing whatever it is you're doing. And I'm gonna go get a key. I plate, but it's blank. Right, this is the one. You wanna activate? Yes. Oh. What's that? Flamethrower? More bronze key. And the plasma cannon. Yeah, that's the flamethrower. Uh, right. Uh... Yeah, functions with gas cartridges. Shoots flame of highly luminous plasma, extremely high temperature. Right, yeah, so that's the weapon that uh, we don't get fair ammo for. And from what I can remember as well, it's like a massive bag of old penis as well. So, you know, we're not going to worry too much about that. All right, let's examine this key, a small bronze key. Small bronze key. Well, ah, was it for Matey Boy's desk? Yes, his, um, Morton's desk was locked, wasn't it? Down this way. Oh, fuck me. You actually made me jump. I'm getting jumpy. In my old age. How are you? God, I'm going to be middle-aged in like six years. Holy shit. Right, anyway, let's, uh, was it down here? Something like that. No, 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 we've gone the wrong way, haven't we? Yeah, it ain't here, Chief. Right, let's back it up. I know it's it's this level somewhere. We can find Matey Boy's uh, study. Yes. Not through that door, because that door's locked. Uh, right, let's have a little squiz at the map. Um. Oh. That door that was locked at the end is apparently no longer locked. Because why not? This game seems to do that. Unless I'm being stupid. Sometimes doors lock. Sometimes they don't lock. Uh, sure. Right. Okay. Well, we... Need to look there. No. Yeah, see, I'm, isn't that's his office then? Or oh, that one. This one. No. No, right, okay. So that's not his office. That one. I know one of these is like a zombie corridor, which is bad news, to be honest. We don't really want to go down a zombie corridor. I mean, okay, like, if this was any other game, then yes. But, it, ah, no, this is the one, isn't it? Yes, this is the one. Yeah, so, his raw lock. There we go. But, I mean, this is just... No, okay, so, his... He is not for this draw. Ah, uh, well, that's a load of old donkey dick. Um, right. So, I guess off we go door hunting. But this door apparently is now on. Okay, no. Right. Well, I mean, it for some reason was flagging up as blank. Uh, all that. That's about. Ah, uh, okay. 
Well, uh, um, how do we, there we go. See, that's the locked passage there, there's no point. Right up. Okay, but, uh, eh? No locked doors. What am I missing here? What are we missing? There's no locked doors. <sighs> Apart from that one, but we know that one's. I guess maybe there was something locked. Hang on. I, okay, right. Well, I mean, I guess in that case, we're supposed to be going to the library and figuring out what that code was. I mean, that's our only lead, right? So, have we missed some kind of diary uh, in the library? Uh, um, I, I guess so. I mean, that's literally our only lead at this point. Are you stopped doing donuts, dude? That's cool. Well, I'm not going to bother with you, to be honest. I don't think you're worth me shotgun shells. Is it cold to say that? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh. Yeah, because all of these are open. Ooh, them. This one. Lock. Okay. Nope. Oh. Oh. What? Okay. Oh. 1408. Let's try that. Oh, there's combat music in here. No, I think it's the same. Uh, maybe. Okay, so 140 something. Ah, oh, I totally forgot about having that photograph on us. Which makes sense, because I haven't played this game for about 682,000 years. Which is my fault, admittedly. Well, actually, no. It's not my fault at all. It's work's fault. Yes, it's blame work. Right. Uh, damn. So, 1408. Now, if it isn't this, then... I don't know, Chief. Well... It. Uh, like a different way in uh, eight. Nope. Okay. Okay. Not sure where we're going to be using this uh, key. I guess I'm going to run around and find out. And I'll meet you guys back here. And welcome back, guys, right after a bit of a cut there. Uh, and I say a bit of a cut. What I actually mean is a full day for me. So, okay. We are quite stuck. Um, put it lightly. What we need to do, I have just been kind of thumbing through a guide. And to say we've been doing things out of order is an understatement. Um, I found myself completely and totally lost. Mainly because I can't remember my way around because I haven't played this game for like many, 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 many months. Uh, or at least it feels that way anyway. So, um, we've kind of half done a lot of puzzles, which were kind of supposed to be done in sequence. But obviously, we didn't know this. Um, right, what we need to do is we need to go back to the attic and we need to use... Um, our crowbar wrench up the floorboards. So, okay, let's start working on that, shall we? This is the wrong door, I think. Yes, this is the zombie corridor. Really, don't need to come back into. Now, as I've been running around and experimenting with 
certain things, trying to find out what the hell we're meant to be doing. Uh, I have found... Uh, door is locked. That's a fuck factor. No, I don't suppose it would be able to be used here. Okay, because basically, we have half of a photograph. And we need to find the other half of the photograph. Sounds simple, right? Now, the other half of the photograph is in Morton's desk. We can't get into Morton's desk because we don't have the key. To get the key, we need to go up into the attic to use the crowbar. Okay. So that's where we're basically stuck at the moment. But I can't remember how we get back up there. To the attic, which is a bit of a pain in the balls, to be honest. Uh, so we've got three doors here. That one leads down. Which is no good. We need We need a set of stairs that lead up. Which is a bit of a problem. Uh, where are the cheese and biscuits were the stairs that head up? That door's stuck. That door's... Yeah, that's where... Uh, a line was stuck in there, wasn't she? Door at the very end of the hall is locked still. If I remember correctly. Um... Door is locked, so I'm guessing this is not the key to open that. Nope. How the f bloody hell do we get up there? Upstairs. That leads down. That's the second floor. That. That leads up. Right, so we need to go down to the first floor to go up to the second floor. Sure, okay, cool. Yeah, a bit of a head scratcher. You know, what's interesting as well is um, the way this game was kind of labeled through these guides mentioned that Kambi's portion of the game was a lot less puzzle heavy and more combat ha um, heavy. That is, at least to me, not the case. I'm finding a lot... Ha, ah, this is, looks more like it. I'm finding a lot more puzzles of uh, Kambi here. Uh, also, going back through everything, can't remember if I said, I did find another box of shotgun shells that we've missed that was just randomly um, in some um, books in one of the guest rooms. So it, it didn't light up or anything. I was just searching everything. Oh, shotgun shells. Right. Okay. This is indeed kind of where we need to be. Door is locked. Cannot be used here. So where, pray to... Can we... Use not be used here. So somehow we need to get through there, but I guess we are yet again missing another item. Uh that's just gonna take us back down. Oh man, so we ah look, yeah, there's a attic up there. Door is locked. Oh my word. So how haven't we got the key to this door yet? One second guys. Let me, I'm just going to read this because uh, <laughs> otherwise I'm going to have no time to record anything this week. Right, one second. And we're back. Right, so um, apparently we've missed another item in this awkward item chain. And a lot of our problem apparently comes down to this statue. Remember when we tried to search the statue and we couldn't? And uh, we managed to move it over here and you can see HM there in the mirror. And I thought there must be something that this statue does. And there is. 
we can actually examine this statue, but you have to be standing on exactly the correct pixel. It took me about three minutes to get my character lined up. Well, maybe three minutes, it's a slight exaggeration. But you know when you're playing these games and you're mashing the search button on everything and you expect if there's something there, it will flag up. But you know, as long as you're in the right area, you know, I ran around this statue and I, I searched it about probably four times, one on each side, twice on the front. And we have been back here and we've searched this a few times, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> no, you have to be in exactly the right area. And if you are, you get this marble bust quite recent. There is a mechanism at the base of the bus. Now, how many times have we tried to search this throughout this playthrough? So we need H M. And this is one of the first parts of the chain, but it didn't work. So, and there we go. That opens one of the puzzles, which I assumed we just hadn't come across the puzzle for it yet, but no, we had. The puzzle was just incredibly finicky. Um, irritating to say the least, right. Take this thing out. Also, there is right here. Right there. Something sounds different there. Uh, I don't know if we can actually use, can't use the crowbar here. But it seems kind of sus. You ask me. Right there. Seems very hollow. But I guess it's nothing. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, guys, what a pain in the balls. I mean, seriously. I mean, it's not even moon logic. It's just puzzles that don't work. And again, you know, this is um, going, going back to resident evil this is where resident evil is way more polished and there is a key which key is this gonna be small rusty key that allows us to go upstairs and the music randomly changes because you've got dick breath jumping in which probably didn't have to fight but Got a little bit of rage. Also, um, firing three barrels from the shotgun at once, repeatedly, that's really gonna hurt after a while, firing all of those shotgun cartridges. Uh, now we're going, I mean, if you're not braced properly, you're gonna break your wrists at least. Jesus. Like three shot, I mean, is any if anybody's fired a double barrel, let off both barrels at once, that shit, if you're not braced properly, that has some serious knockback. Can you imagine three? Holy shit. I'd like to try it, but... Yeah. Yeah, that that's... I mean, it, obviously it can be done. There are three barrel shotguns and stuff, which people fire for fun. But, um... Yeah, Jesus. That's something serious. Right, okay. I don't know why I was thinking about the logistics of this weapon, but hey, right, okay. Okay. Oh, shells. Now, these enemies are called plants. Not sure why they're called plants, but there we go. Let's have a little look in through here. Now... I don't know where this storeroom is that we're looking for. Not sure. Ah, this could be the storeroom. Maybe. Oh, hear that? 
That actually looks quite dodgy. There we go. Okay. Small key. Small gilded key. Guys, we're getting keys. Oh, I can't believe we were like totally gatekeeped by that freaking statue, man. Ah. I was getting really frustrated. And, I, you know, I, I don't mind using guides. I've got nothing against it. Um, you know, it is what it is, but I prefer not to. But when a game is just really finicky like that, I don't know why uh, they made that statue so incredibly hard to actually access. Is it something to do with the Dreamcast version? I don't know. Um, I, I haven't really read up any build up anybody else that seemed to have had any real difficulties opening that so was I just unlucky oh hello oh yeah these things these weird freaking bug things Ugh. now these things suck because if you're going to use anything more than oh shotgun shells if you're going to use anything more than a handheld... Ooh! Magnesium bullets. Then your pistol? It's a waste. And that is exactly what we're going to use. Because the pistol's useless. Um, like, really useless. Unless you're fighting these things. Really? Like, I could see that thing, but for some reason I just couldn't aim at it fucking thing. Like, I could see the thing. I couldn't see that thing. Wow, it's a head crab. Why didn't you let me just aim at it and be done with it? Um, can I aim at this thing, please? Thank you. Oh, boy. Right. So, what do we have here? A candle. All right. Really? How many of these things are in here? So, we have a candle there. And I don't think we uh I mean I doubt this is gonna work. Nah, I guess not. Okay. Right, well I mean I guess that's this area searched out. Fuck off. Little bastard. Now, interestingly enough, like, I wouldn't have seen those shotgun shells if we weren't playing on an emulator. Because they were like a tiny little blip way over in the distance. It's only because uh, we're running at a much higher resolution on the old emulator that I could even see those things. Okay, um, the door is sealed up, that's fine. Right, we've made some progress. We've actually got like two keys. Which is nice. I can't believe they hid two keys. Oh, okay. Uh, not sure if there's anything else to like find in this room. Um, I mean, we've got a lot of shotgun shells. So I guess. I guess we could kill these things also uh, I was correct in my assumption that the shotgun doesn't actually fire a spread pattern in this game no weapon in this game fires a spread pattern all the weapons fire like a solid almost like a hit scan projectile so it doesn't matter if we're using this shotgun from two feet away or, or you know two miles away it does the same damage which is fine if anything it's a add on the more realistic side but those enemies are really tough they're called plant I thought it was a bit strange Ooh. oh there's a lighter there see wouldn't have seen that Take the lighter. 
Right. I guess on Shadow Island, the green herb kills you. Oh, uh, unless this lighter actually needs fuel or something, it should be able to use. God, I was getting well frustrated with this game. I was like, how's it? Like, what's going on? All because we couldn't find one fucking pixel to stand on. Right, let's use the lighter, I'm guessing. Unless we need to find, I don't know, like fuel for it or something. Uh. Braved Stormlight. Okay. Really? Come on. Why can't I use... How do... A candle. Is this going to be another thing where you have to be... In... There's a draft coming from this partition. Oh, okay. Well, there we go, I guess. Ah... All right. Oh, fucking thing. Might actually be able to turn a light on in this area somewhere, I think. Build up. Build up. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure at the end of this corridor, isn't there, there's a light switch that we can use. It should kill all of these things. There we go. Yes, Fuck off, you plant bastards. Ooh, nice. Happy to have that. Okay, let's go see if this crazy lady's here. Oh, she is. Even the stoves. You are back. Back? Who are you talking about? But who are you? The name's Carnby. Edward Carnby, and I'm here to help you. Do not lie to me. You are here for something else. Are you with the young lady? Aline? Do you know where she is? Oh, she is most probably dead by now. You know, Mr. Carnby, of all those who set foot on the island, few ever got away. Obed told me he spoke to a man, uh, it was last week, I think. Obed was sure the man was going to help us. Oh, Obed has always been gullible. This man, was his name Fisk? Charles Fisk? How can one be sure of anything on Shadow Island? I know you have come to harm my sons. No, no, you've got me all wrong. Go to the library and burn it all. Let the flames purify this hellish place. But what about you? I am already dead. Go to hell. Huh. Yeah, she's definitely um, a few pickles short of a jar. Right, let's go. Yeah, there's a science magazine. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to have any, like, shotgun shells around here, would you? Just saying, you know, just in case I could uh, lighten your load. Ease your burden, if you will. Not a very nice lady, though, is she? Telling me to go to hell, honestly. Right, well, I think this is a good time as any to save it, to be honest. And call it a video. This video is going to be fucking chop suey, let me tell you that. But, at last, we seem to have um, made some kind of progress, I guess. Finally. I can't believe we were kind of cock-blocked for all that time. Just because we couldn't activate the statue. Now, there is a, another bug that we need to be aware of in this game, which, from what I can tell, only affects the PlayStation 1 version, but that's not super confirmed. And that is revolving around the paintings. Like, when we complete all of these um, objectives, I guess, puzzles, maybe, um... 
the paintings are supposed to do something. And that sometimes, uh, depending on a few factors of the game and what order you've done shit in, blah, 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 that might not actually happen. But if it's your first time playing through the game, you won't know that you've done something wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we need to be careful of that. As, like I said, as far as I'm aware, people are fairly sure that's only in the PlayStation 1 version, but I guess we shall find out together, won't we? Ha! Exciting times. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, until next time.